So uh, Deb Noller, CEO of Switch Automation. Uh, I'm the co-founder and CEO, and Switch Automation is a platform for collecting building data, but also doing building controls. So what that means is that the uh, fa uh, facility manager for this building could have uh, managed this building from the other side of the campus. He would know how many people are in here. He'd know how much energy this is drawing. And with a social media uh, integration, you could have all indicated later earlier today that you were freezing cold and he could have adjusted the temperature for you. <laughs> so the problem is, if you are a building owner, operator or manager and you have lots of buildings, you have a massive problem. And this is a worldwide problem. And the problem is that all of your building data, all of your building systems, all of your buildings all operate within silos. Within the buildings themselves, all of the systems operate within silos, your buildings themselves are silos, and then all across your organisation, every department's holding information in spreadsheets and all of that data is kept in silos. So the solution is to get all of that data and get it all into one place where every single stakeholder of your building portfolio can get hold of that information and do something useful with it. So I'm talking about the CFO, I'm talking about the head of sustainability, I'm talking about the head of facilities, and I'm talking about the visitors and the tenants of your buildings. And this is what Switch does. So we have a cloud-based platform and we integrate all the subsystems in your buildings, the sub-metering devices, the lighting control systems, the indoor air quality sensors and the temperature sensors. And we bring all of that together with building data that's kept in spreadsheets. So this would be information like your utility information, uh, information that's kept from the accounts payable, waste data, information like that. And we combine all of that information in into a single cloud-based platform that's available to every stakeholder in the organisation. Our business model is a SaaS model. We sell direct until such time as the channel emerges. It's actually a disruptive technology and so we have to sell direct until such time as the, the channel emerges. So we've proven that model in Australia. So um, a typical large portfolio of buildings, 100 buildings, uh, would be around about $150,000 implementation and then $125,000 ongoing. We've got a Starbucks model of pricing, small, medium and large. That's not the number of the size of the building, that's actually the number of data points that you're bringing in on a building. So typically somebody will start with something like energy water waste and then they might add their submeters and then they might add all of their sensor points. So it's actually not the size of the building, it's more at the amount of data that we're collecting. The typical channel would be service providers, energy efficiency, building consultants and building experts. Our competitive landscape is messy and noisy and this is both an opportunity, a massive opportunity, but it's also a massive problem. The problem is the customer can't differentiate between all of the solutions that are in the marketplace. They know what they want, they go to market, they go to Google and they start looking and they become totally overwhelmed. We call this software fatigue. But this is also an opportunity because buildings are the last big part of big business that remains completely unsolved. It is yet to be disrupted and all of those companies that you see on the slide there are all potential partnering companies, they're all potential, potentially uh, acquirers of switch automation. So it's, it's, it's a hectic space to be in, it's a noisy space to be in, but it's also a, a massive opportunity. So you'll see it's dominated by the big uh, we call them the big four, Schneider, Honeywell, Johnson Controls and, and Siemens. But also you see coming into this space a lot of the uh, new big companies like Accenture, IBM, Microsoft. And they're all looking for solutions for how to, t how to get, a, uh, get a grip on this uh, new and emerging opportunity. So how does a small company, 20 people, in a market this size, projected to be worth more than $50 billion by 2018, how does a company with 20 people out of Sydney, Australia, 
get, the, get their name known across a market the size and breadth of America. And that's actually a lot easier than you would think because all of the people that are involved in smart buildings, connected buildings, all the ones that are providing the advice to those large companies that know what they want but don't know how to do it and have got the software fatigue, they go out to market and they find the experts and all of those experts actually belong to two networks. They either belong to Carver or they belong to Realcom. So we've spent the entire year getting absolutely entrenched into Realcom and Carver and we're now extremely well known across the, uh, across the network of experts. So even though there's only about 100 people in America that actually need to know, that actually know about this stuff here today, they all know about Switch, which is fantastic because now we're starting to see the RFPs come to us direct. We're also rather clever at working out how to use social media and um, big brother relationships and um, other networks that you'll see up there. So we currently have more than 700 customers on the platform. These are all paying customers. Uh, more than 60, billion, uh, 60 million square foot uh, of, of uh, property. Our largest customer is AMP Capital, who has 30 million square feet. Uh, we've also done a huge amount of work with Lend Lease. Our biggest customers here in the US are the Microsoft campus in Redmond and the um, downtown area of Seattle, which is uh, a collaborative group uh, called the Seattle 2030 District, and that's all the downtown buildings measuring their energy consumption, all in a bid to meet Obama's targets of saving energy of 50% out of their buildings by the year 2030. So we are backed by an experienced team. Most of us are software developers. However, we have some industry experts that help us get our technology into buildings. Our financial projections all, are all based around the number of account managers and the number of people that we can put on who can manage this channel. So it has long lead times. We have to get into budgets and we have to convince big companies to put us into their budgets. So it does have a long lead time. But once the channel comes on, they can actually, everything about the platform is built for scale. So we know that we, within three years, we can have um, several account managers who can have up to um, 100 building, 1,000 buildings uh, every year, new buildings every year, and that um, within four years, all of those account managers should be able to have at least 20 channel partners. So that will grow our revenue to in excess of $30 million within four years. So our current status is we've been in market for more than 10 years. Uh, with a hardware platform up until four years ago. We spent four years developing the cloud. We've been in market for two years with the cloud. We have paying customers. We've developed channel partners in Australia. We're now in the US and we, we will have at least three channel partners signed up by the end of the first quarter next year. And we need to raise some money to support our growth aspirations. But we don't just need money, we actually need partners that can help us scale this model aggressively, not just here in the US, but globally. So we want to be the global standard of building, op building operations. So much like SAP or JD Edwards is the global standard for accounting, we want to be the global standard for operations in buildings. So we are seeking to raise $3 million uh, of capital and that will be used to um, assist us grow out our operations here in the US. Thank you very much. Um, I didn't quite get a look, a great look at that timeline. Um, was it two million into the business via a government grant? Has there been yes, other? Yes. So we're direct just like we're really good at uh, using social media. We're actually, I, I call myself the grants queen. I'm absolutely fantastic at sniffing out money. So we've been very well supported by uh, the Australian government, both New South Wales and federal. Uh, our largest grant was two million dollars um, from the federal government, which we got two years ago. But we also get about um, three or four hundred thousand dollars a year in uh, research and development funding from the tax office in Australia. Great, congrats.